Hello everybody, this is Bud Rich, um, and uh, yeah, the PWP script. I have been uh, trying out a lot of things here and um, extended the script a lot, um, trying out things so, so I know where to, because it got a bit weird uh, making these videos where I wasn't clear on how our um, finished script would look like uh, but now I have implemented I think all wallpaper functionality that, that we need haven't added the lock and, and the screensaver stuff uh, really but uh, let me show you what I got at the moment here at workspace 2 I have prepared some stuff let's also add this key notifier here uh, as you can see I've added uh, some more documentation here we can now uh, set the previous and the next wallpaper. It have a history now, so it stores. Uh, yeah, so we can go back and forward in the wallpaper history. We can also delete wallpapers and uh, rename wallpapers, and we can add directories. And I would like to talk about all, all of these uh, features, so you see what what's going on. Uh, so this this video will be a little bit of a demo video again. Um, Okay, um, BWP wallpaper random. We'll just give us a random wallpaper, you know. Uh, if I look at this history file here, if we just cut it out here in the terminal, we can see it only have three entries and, and, and we only have three walls now in this library. What, it doesn't really matter. I, I will show, show you soon when, when we add uh, uh, more files to this library. Uh, but the history looks like this here nuclear control member berries abstract baby blue uh, a nuclear control that is as we can see here the current wall uh, so if I go back in the history previous here P then it should uh, display member berries if I do it again it should di display abstract baby blue right and do it again it should display nuclear control uh, and it uh, if we go back here now member berries but uh, if we display the history, it still uh, it, it doesn't modify the history when we are when we uh, don't add stuff to it or remove something from it. But if we go forward in the history here now to nuclear control, now we are at the top of the history file. If I go forward again here next, then it will take a random wallpaper because it uh, yeah there is no nothing no next really. So there. Uh, the member berries was uh, taken randomly there uh, since we only have three walls maybe this wasn't the best example but whatever I think you get it and I also added the ability to toggle the blur now so you can use the B flag to toggle that that also means that I need to generate blurs um, but the uh, cool thing here with all this functionality I, I was able to, to create a simple little polybar module thing here so we can use this to get a random wallpaper, go back in the history, go forward in the history, uh, rename this nuclear control. We can rename it um, whatever Rontgen. There now it's renamed Rontgen, and it should be named that here and here as well, and here as well. I don't know what happened with the look. Ah, no, I I know no whatever. Uh, have, it's not 100% but this is where we get to and, and you see how, how it works right the, yeah the locks whatever it's uh, under construction and I can also delete this and then it will set it to the previous wallpaper and delete it from the library completely so now I only have two uh, walls here um, and now you can see I also added the blurs and the locks directory here and blurs is of course blurred versions of, of the wallpaper. I can click here. I, I also added here so I can if I right click here I can I get a menu of all the wallpapers. Now we only have two but if I had more it would have all uh, walls in the library there in that list. That trophy menu. And I can just hide this control if I don't want to see it anymore. Um, but the blurs are blurred versions. Uh, the locks uh, uh, locked screen versions uh, have to be in ping format now both of these are ping files here we can see that here 
uh, and and if the wallpaper is in ping format then I just create a, a symbolic link to it uh, to this logs directory but if the wallpaper would be a JPEG then it would uh, convert it to a ping and store store it here just for lock screens and by doing this uh, uh, we, we, we get um, a much much smaller uh, library than I had before uh, when I converted everything to pings and I stored three different versions of, of every wallpaper. Now I don't convert everything to ping, meaning that the JPEGs will be much smaller uh, uh, from the start and, uh, and many often I can just create a zoom link here. So, so uh, if, yeah, my previous library was about, let's say, 500 megabytes. I, I think it was actually like uh, 700 megabytes. Same library now uh, it is about uh, 100 megabytes. So it, it's more than five times smaller on average. It, it all depends on, of course, on how many JPEGs, how many pings you have and, and, and things like that. Uh, also, while doing this, uh, because no matter uh, what happens, you know, I, I at least have to generate this blurred version. And we always do a conversion to resize the image to the same uh, uh, size as the screen. Um, and when I was doing this, I was thinking maybe there is a way, you know, to to uh, to make this more efficient because this is really the bottleneck of the scri uh, script when you j uh, add a bunch of files to the library. You have to convert all those files, and that that takes a, a, a long time. But while I was doing this, uh, uh, I just uh, came across this uh, uh, blog post written here, 13th July. It's like uh, they they read my mind somehow. Occasionally saying here, I don't know more about this author, but a great little personal blog. Uh, and this GNU parallel, it's a command line utility that you can use. It works kind of like XORG, so you can. Uh, execute commands yeah, like exorgs kind of but the difference is that this does it in parallel so it will execute as many commands at the same time as possible making uh, much more use of your cpu so depending on how many cores you have this this makes a big difference i only have four cores on my my uh, system here but when i tested this with a, a directory of um, 70 files uh, the, this directory. I added all of these files at the same time. When I did it with, with the XORX method, then it took uh, three minutes, I think. And when I did it with, with the parallel uh, version, it took two minutes. So uh, a whole minute difference. Uh, and that is, that is a lot of time. Uh, and of course, the more files, the, the bigger difference. The more cores, the bigger difference. Uh, so, so I have added this now to the script here. Um, like this. If we, if we pass the A option, then uh, and the, the uh, argument is directory, then it, then it will uh, pass all files in parallel to the same script. Yeah, like this. And I, I have, uh, have the XRX uh, uh, equivalent here, so I could test the difference. And, and yeah, it's a big difference. Not much to see, really, but we could test here with, with uh, that directory that I just showed you there. Uh, PIX and WP. Yeah, it was the same commands uh, as last time. And here we can also see that the execution time was 135 seconds last time. We can also take a look at HTOP here and see that all my... Uh, CPU cores are, are maxed out and um, yeah, I have the convert here and we can see it does a lot of converts at the same time now and that's really good uh, when, when you want it like this of course this affects uh, the overall perf performance on the computer maybe you shouldn't make a screencast while doing this or maybe you should um, but it's, yeah, I'm really, really happy to, to know about that command. But the parallel isn't uh, uh, like a, a, a default default program. Uh, I had to install it, but, but it was available in, in uh, the community repositories uh, with Pacman here. So 
Parallel, and I, I, I bet it's available in, in most distributions, package managers, but here we can see. And it's a like GNU program, so it's nothing, well, it, of course it's weird since it is a GNU program, but it's, uh, it's not super obscure. In that sense, um, so that's that's really cool. But it is like the strangest, uh, uh, <laughs> strangest syntax to execute it. It uses these different amounts of colons uh, to determine how you want what you want to do. You know, <laughs> super weird. Four colons does one thing, three colons does another, and it's almost the same syntax as XORG, but not really. But the, this uh, blog post here this little article uh, read that and you will understand how it works I will link this in the show notes this uh, this uh, article so yeah that is uh, more or less what I wanted to sh do in this video just show you where where we are and where we are going or another thing also because that's really what I want to do in the upcoming vi uh, videos the, the 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 next video and maybe two more videos will be uh, refactoring videos because look at the script how it looks now th this version that I have here this is not uh, fun to work with when, when you have long scripts like this with a lot of functions and a lot of similar uh, functionality it's really easy to, to ed start editing the wrong function you spend a lot of time just scrolling up and down and uh, yes I know you can search the document you can use slash like in vi you can use this and whatever but sometimes you just reach for the mouse and you start scrolling in the wrong direction lose track of everything you know uh, so i i prefer to have uh, projects that look like this in in in, in uh, something like this you know uh, store the function in it in their own files and stuff so so i thought we we take uh, take some time to, to set up a similar uh, uh, structure of, of this BWP script and that is in itself uh, like a completely separate topic because this is not as straightforward and easy or it, it's not as straightforward as you might first think there are a, a bunch of, of things to consider when, when organizing a bash script like this there is a reason why you seldom see uh, uh, bash scripts that are uh, organized like this but we we will look into uh, how to do it what the drawbacks are how to make it as yeah good as possible in every way so that will be the next uh, videos and now we can see yeah it took the same same amount of time 134 uh, seconds to do it in parallel I, and and now we can also see that our library should be a lot more files here now we have all, all of these files and, and many of them have stupid names as you, as you can see but here nice rice then we get this can take a random here maybe I shouldn't because who knows what what's in this directory uh, and now we can also see um, uh, if we do disk usage uh, human readable everything in this directory we can see that uh, the size here now uh, only 90 megabytes for all the blurred versions the blurred versions actually they yeah take up much less space because since they are blurred less details in in the files you know the locks is the largest directory even if it contains a lot of sim simlinks that doesn't occupy any any space but all when you convert a JPEG like this, for example, to ping, it, it will increase the size. Uh, uh, yeah, as as we have seen, uh, by by sometimes 10, 10 times. And the walls only occupies fifty three megabytes. In my old version, uh, yeah, maybe we can find that. Uh, I think I have it here in WP. Yeah. Now I'm not sure that this contains as many files, but whatever. But here we can see a, a, a very large difference here. And now the locks directory is, is smaller, uh, but the walls is much larger, uh, wh whatever. But it's more or less uh, the same uh, number of files here. Uh, we do ls walls 
word count lines or maybe not 215 whatever whatever it's it, it is it is much uh, uh, leaner <clears throat> that's weird that I have 215 there and I only have 71 now in my uh, other whatever it, it, it is better <laughs> VWB uh, LS walls or yeah I only have 73 walls here what are all those Whatever, whatever. Uh, thank you for watching everybody. I hope uh, you might find this interesting. And of course we need to make a video when, when we are done with the BWP uh, or when we have reached this uh, point of functionality, then we can uh, uh, take another, make another sidetrack, look at this polybar, polyfy thing that I got going here and how to create a module similar to this. All right. So have a great day everybody, like and unsubscribe or however it works, I don't know, really don't know, bye.